बिस्मिल्लाम वेलकम टू आवर चैनल बॉटनी विद यूट्यूब टूडे आई एम हेयर पी एच डी स्कॉलर आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ टॉपिक फेनोपसीडा फेनोपसीडा इज अ क्लास ऑफ ट्रिडोफाइट प्लांट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इक्विसिटम it is also called arthropoda because of its structure resemblance to the arthropod history of phenopsida their fossils were found from devonian periods these plants were abundant during paleozoic era but now only one genera equisetum has survived the earlier phenopsida were both tree like and herbaceous but now only herbaceous species are left if you are new in our channel then firstly subscribe our channel general character of phenopsida This porophytic body of Phenopsida is differentiated into root, stem, and leaves. Mostly, Phenopsida have homosporous structure, and some species have heterosporous structure. General structure: main stem is not smooth. it has large number of ridges and furrows it has node and internodes each node has a world of branches roots found only in few species roots are always adventitious you can see here the diagram of phenopsida the leaves may be expanded or scale like the leaves are always arranged in whorl or ring form the leaves and branches alternate with each other at nodes primary vascular tissues of stem may be protostelic but often it is sphenostelic you can see in diagram Sporangia is the structure which bears spores and present on the top of the fertile branches. Equisetum. Division is Phenopsida class, order, family, and genus is Equisetum. Occurrence of Phenopsida the genus Equisetum has 25 species it is worldwide in distribution they are most common in temperate regions try to share our channel with your friends with your colleagues and other students and some researcher habitat majority of equisetum species are found in wet or damp places in moist and shady areas some species have ability to grow in dry the plant body is sporophyte it is composed of rhizome aerial branches scale leaves and roots rhizome like structure is also present rhizome is a plant body has horizontal underground it often penetrate deep into the soil rhizome give off erect aerial branches rhizome and aerial branches have nodes and internodes
aerial branches are green and they perform photosynthesis the aerial branches are differentiated into nodes and internodes some species of equisetum has two types of aerial branches fertile and sterile fertile branches are these type of branches which are short in structure brownish in color they are without lateral branches each fertile branches produce a cone or strobulus at the top of the stem or at the end of the apex the fertile branches are produced in spring season these branches die after the production of cone strobulus or sporangia sterile branches the sterile branches are green these branches have numerous lateral branches sterile branches persist throughout the year and they don't have ability to reproduce leaves of equisetum each node has a whorl of small scale like leaves these leaves form sheeting at the base of node leaves perform little photosynthesis roots of equisetum roots are adventitious root arise in whorl at the node of the rhizome first root is primary but it is short lived it is replaced by adventitious root root anchor the plant and are involved in absorption of water and minerals reproduction in equisetum there are two types of reproduction vegetative reproduction which help which help of plant body for example tuber and primordium and the other one is reproduction by spores strobulus are sporangium are born on the top of the stem or on the top of the fertile branches and they are useful in the reproduction equisetum strobulus you can see in diagram the structure of strobulus annulus ring is present spores stalk sporangium sporangia axis of strobulus sporangio four like our botany channel and share with your friends as well as other students and researchers life cycle of equisetum it is most important and informative topic firstly we start from gametophyte body when spores fall down on ground they germinate and produce the gametophytic body gametophytic body have ability to produce two types of gamete archegonium and sperm archegonium produce egg and anthridium produce sperm sperm float with the help of water with the help of air towards the archegonium and fertilize the egg after the fertilization zygote is produced further dwiens occur in zygote and embryo formation occur then embryo have ability to produce the sporophytic generation main plant body which, which are divided in root stem and leaves 
these plant body have sterile and fertile branches and fertile branches have ability to produce strobilus and strobilus have spores spores fall down on ground and again reproduce gametophytic generation life cycle of equisetum we have already discussed in previous slide archegonium is the female reproductive organ you can read in this paragraph anthridium is the male reproductive organ and have sperm fertilization fertilization is the process in which male and female gamete fuse together and form zygote embryo embryo is the structure which formed after the zygote and embryo form a body which is called sporophyte a new baby plant you can see here life cycle of equisetum strobilus sporangium meiosis occur then spore formation occur spores fall down on ground prothallus or gametophytic body produce two types of gamete produce anthridium and archegonium anthridium have anthrozoid archegonium have egg both fuse together fertilization occur oospore formation occur then embryo formed and embryo become equisetum and equisetum again form strobilus alternation of generation is a process in which haploid generation have ability to produce diploid generation and diploid generation again produce haploid generation means sporophytic generation have ability to produce gametophytic generation and gametophytic generation have ability to produce sporophytic generation by this process both generation alternate with each other ecological importance of equisetum some species of equisetum has great medical value horse tail has been used to promote healing of small injuries equisetum is used in diuretic ashes of this plant are used to relieve acidity diarrhea it also gives silica which is used in medicine as well silica is present in this stem it give a rough and abrasive touch the bundle of stems are used to clean utensils and for polishing wood a very small amount of gold may be present in some species some species are used as indicator for mineral content in soil thank you so much thanks for your concentration thanks for your attention and thanks to visit our channel good luck to all of you Allah Hafiz